Drive World has just updated, so let's see what they added. To start off, they added the rotary, the buck, the V10 RS, and the V10 LMS. But the best car is Zena. I'll get to this car in a little bit. Here is the rotary, which is the cheapest car in this update. This car has a lot of mods that you can put onto it. For example, my taillights are hearts. This is by far my favorite car in the game currently for looks. Second, for 44,000, you can buy the Buck, which is a new off-roader. This car, like the other cars, has a lot of mods that you can put on it. For example, you can take off the roof. Next is the V10 RS, which I haven't upgraded since it's basically the same as the other one. Here's the V10 LMS, which looks cooler, but its driving capabilities aren't the best. As you can see, this is maxed, and it can't even reach over 200 miles an hour without boost. Finally, we have the Zena, and this car looks beautiful, and let's see if this car is actually better than any of the supercars that they have in this game. Driving this car around, it can barely hold over 300. Compared to other cars that are only a little bit more expensive, this one just doesn't cut it. I would way rather recommend you getting the P1 over this car. What's also cool is when stopping, the spoiler goes up to make you stop faster. Here you can see all the new cars when they're fully stock. So in my opinion, the only car I'd recommend you buying is the Rotary because it has so many customizations that you can put on it and you can test out hundreds of different designs. I definitely think Drive World should release more cheap cars that you can customize a whole bunch and make them look how you want. Here I'll show you the Zena in a race so you can see how good it actually is. As you can see, the Zena gets around 1 minute 50 seconds on Around the World with stock gears and it's fully maxed. Compared to the P1, I think this car shouldn't be bought over the P1 and anybody should be choosing that over this car. Not only did they add 5 new cars, they also added 2 new races. In my opinion, I'd rate that race about 5 out of 10. I'd say it's mid for all the races that are already in the game. The second race is figure 8. I like how this race feels, but I feel like it needs tuning with the checkpoints or changing something so that it feels better when driving it. Especially for new people to drive world, this race is extremely complicated for them. To add on to this, they actually updated in the heights to make it better than it was before.
I would definitely say In the Heights is better, but that race is the opposite of figure eight. I feel like it's for people just starting the game and figuring out how the game works, and I wouldn't choose it over the other races that are already in the game. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.